Hey guys, welcome back to Kurban Craft. Today in this video, we are going to learn the effects of scrub radius. But before that, let us first understand what is scrub radius. Here I have a model of four wheels along with the knuckle joint. So here we can clearly see that this knuckle joint makes an angle with the wheel over here. Let us consider a line passing through the center line of the knuckle joint and this line will intersect the ground at some point. Distance between this intersection point and the center line of the wheel is said to be the scrub radius. But if your wheels, if your uh, knuckle joint and this intersection point lie on the same side of the center line of the wheel, it is said to be positive scrub radius. Whereas if they lie on the opposite sides, it is said to be negative scrub radius. So let us understand the effect of negative scrub radius first. Let me clear that negative scrub radius has more advantage than the positive one when it comes to vehicle dynamics. So like I said, we have negative scrub radius over here. That is the point of intersection is lying on the opposite side. The point of intersection and the knuckle joint are lying on the opposite sides of this center line of the tire. So let us say that we are traveling at around 80 kilometers per hour on a road surface and we suddenly apply brakes. But moreover, aquaplaning takes place on this left tire. So because of this aquaplaning, less brake force will be applied on the left tire and more force will be applied on this right tire. Because of this scrub radius and the force, a moment is created which makes the tire makes this tire to steer in this angle that is in out to outside direction outwards direction but we know that because of the constraints uh, practically it is not possible that the tires steer in the outward direction so as a result your vehicles your wheels will be traveling in straight path hence no instability is created and your 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 vehicle will be in balance to summarize this your because of the negative scrub radius your tires will remain straight causing no instability but let us let us say that your uh, you had the positive scrub radius same situation same speed same brake force but just the scrub radius is positive in this case this will make the tire to steer in like this inward direction so basically your tires are getting steered because of the moment caused due to the force and braking at such high speed and on top of that your wheels are getting steered this will cause instability in your vehicle and it might lead to an accident now we know why negative scrub radius is more advantageous than the positive one when it comes to vehicle dynamics. So hey, why not use negative scrub radius in every vehicle? The downside of this is that in order to achieve this negative part, negative scrub radius, the knuckle joint is mounted in such a way that it, it requires a lot of space. Consuming Consuming this much space in a commercial vehicle is not that, uh, I should say, economical. And when it comes to design aspect, a lot, this much space is uh, to achieve this much space in commercial vehicles is very difficult. So most of the cars out there have positive scrub radius, but this scrub radius is very less. And because of the less radius, the moment generated is less and the driver is less likely to lose the stability over the vehicle. So hey, this was all about the scrub radius, the positive one, the negative one. Negative scrub radius will keep your vehicles straight while braking. Positive one will also will, will create some moment, will uh, make your wheels to steer by some amount, but that depends on the amount of radius. If it's less, that's okay. But if the positive radius is more than more are the chances of instability. So I hope you liked this video. If you have any kind of questions, then feel free to leave it down in the comment section below. And yes, 
I'll see you guys in the next video.